With Music Replay, you can replay any event using two different playback modes. So there's two separate output channels labeled A and B. Let's go ahead and replay an event on output B. So I'm going to select an event from my clip list. And using the normal playback mode, I'll push the T-bar and the control surface all the way down, and that sets the speed at 0% for a clean freeze frame. You can interactively control the speed by pushing the T-bar up or down, and you can reach the maximum of 100%. Replay also features a special T-bar mode that allows you to play back using speeds all the way to 200% in both forward and reverse. So I'm going to select a different event from my clip list. And you can engage this mode by pressing the plus minus button on the control surface. Then by moving the T-bar back and forth, you can replay any part of an event. This makes it very easy to review a play in both directions to really analyze the action. The normal T-bar mode can be used during a replay to slow down during the highlight of a play. So here we go, we're going to slow down and see that dunk in slow motion. And the special T-bar mode is great for a first review of a play. With the in or out of bounds, let's see exactly what happened here. And here's a tip, when you slow down one angle of an event, all of the other angles of that event also slow down. So if you want to switch to a different angle during a replay, they'll all be synced at the same speed. And here's a trick. You can start a replay at the speed you want. So let's go ahead and see that. And when the action is over, you can press Shift Angle Camera Number, and that angle will play from the beginning at the set speed.